Hey guys, Curl Blind Wave, I'm Eric. I'm Aaron. And we are back with Superman and Lois. Where Aaron last time on, what happened? We just let John Henry drive away. We totally did. I mean, I it was the right thing to do. Was it? You couldn't I stay? So. No. Something? He needs time. He has things he has to say, but you're not that woman. <sighs> I'm not. Uh, we had a fantastic, it was a fantastic Lois episode. Uh, I loved her performance. The actress herself yeah. actually like saw our uh, reaction or discussion, I should say, mm. on Twitter, which was pretty cool. Um, I see. But yeah, it was really, yeah. really cool. I'm excited to see what happens next. No, yeah. I like the episode. I like this season, this like series. The series yeah. This, this, this. I like it. It's really good. I'm excited to see what they do with the story. Um, we still have Edge doing some Kryptonian things, mm -hmm. Steel leaving. I don't know what he's going to do or yeah. how he comes back in or if he does. I imagine mm -hmm. he does, but maybe not. Maybe that was like a little bit of a story and now he leaves and we don't see him and Lois and Clark have to deal with their own stuff now. I don't know. He'll come back. But we had a poll last time. The poll was, after getting to know the character, do you want Jonathan Kent to develop powers? Because we had this discussion how cool it is to have Jonathan... Sans you know, powers. Sans powers and, you know, the uh, the episode was called, like, Holding the Wrench, which I thought was a really cool title. Hmm. Okay. Um, anyway, uh, we had about 60% 60 pe 60 of people say, I would like him to develop powers. 40% of people said, I don't want him to have powers. So a little bit more uh, than the others in terms of wanting. Let's see what people were saying, though. Uh, Ross Ahim says, I honestly think that he shouldn't get powers, at least not for a few seasons. It would mess up the, dy the dynamic where uh, he has with other characters. Okay. <coughs> sure, I get that. So he voted on the to get powers then, or mm -hmm. not to get powers? Uh, he said he shouldn't, at least for not a couple seasons, but shouldn't get powers. So he just voted. They like the no. dynamic. So he likes the no yeah. as a whole. You just don't say the couple seasons thing. That was one of the things too. Is like you could get it next season and not this season. That would no, be I get you. I, I think nice that to... inevitably, if this show were to go on without like a planned ending, he's just gonna get powers. Like if we go for ten seasons, yeah. if we go along small, it's gonna happen or something. Yeah. Smallville was supposed to be like four seasons, right? I don't like remember. through high school, and yeah. that was it. And then it kept going. Um, DC Fanboy says, if Jonathan had one half of Superman's powers, like speed and healing, and Jordan had half like strength and super hearing, they could make a great team. I think that would be cool. Um, what have we seen? We've seen laser vision, heating, and hearing. Or laser vision, hearing, and strength right from him mm -hmm. I don't think he's run fast yet no uh, forever Lannister says uh, in like three or four seasons sure but not now now it's great as it is I love this show so much guys <clears throat> uh, I like how you can relate Lois and Jonathan together definitely. and then Jordan and Clark together really well right now we are the extraordinary humans in a family of super people or yeah animals. like I like I like that yeah. idea uh, Joel says he never gets powers, and the show ends with him saying, "I'm Batman." <laughs> That'd be something. You know how like Batman, you know, and in comics and different things, like Superman gives him kryptonite, so mm -hmm. if something goes wrong, like Jonathan is that to Jordan. Yeah, that would like, be, that'd be interesting. interesting kind of thing. Gavin says, "No, I don't want him to have powers. I think that if he did, it would unbalance the family dynamic and the threat others can pose on the family." Sure. Yeah, if you have all superpowered people, there's less threat, less dangers. Though Lois does a pretty good job mm -hmm. on her own without being powered. Uh, CJ says, more powers equals higher possibility of cool fights, therefore yes. Mm. And it's hard to argue against that because not only, I mean, yeah, you want m more cool fights, but in this show, the cool fights are especially cool because they look so great. You know who has no powers that can do cool fights? Steel. Steel! Yes. Yeah, I know that's part of it, but Smallville's the only town where he's sticking around. So there mm. has to be a reason why Smallville is different. He needs this place. This is your this special where Clark team. grew up. We dig deeper. We need to use Was there a meteorite shower? These two have been irradiated. Clark's a great reporter. Now that he's not coaching, he can help. <laughs> Files on everyone Edge has recruited. I like that Lana's helping. Oh, yeah. They are. I can improve your life in every way imaginable. I can improve you, Emily. I felt this hurt. Oh, damn it. 
process you go through will make you feel like a new person. Clear mind. Because it does, right? It's making Stronger. it's like reviving Kryptonians. Kryptonian. Love you guys. Bye. Bye. Right, I gotta go meet Lana at the Gazette. Clark, you are Martha Kent's son. She was helping people here way before Ed showed up. They will listen to you. Don't meet Lana at the Gazette. It's a bad place to meet. Like you wanted to be undercover, but she's meeting you there? Right. And just talk to Lana. She hooked me up, got me into the program. I'm sure she'd be happy to help her old boyfriend. <laughs> so is this the Kryptonian acting like her? No, they don't have control yet, I don't think. Yeah, right? but like they responded as with the Kryptonian language when it came out. I don't know. Where the hell is this at? Dude, how fast did he Jesus! <laughs> Just around the world, okay. Yeah, we gotta do this real quick. <laughs> is he oh, still, is it still affecting him? What the fuck are these guys thinking? I don't know. know. As soon as I see Superman come to the I door, Put my shit down, I'm like, fuck. My give up. Yeah, my give exactly. Up. It's affecting him somehow. Yeah, he got that aerosol. Man, you know what? That guy did exactly what I said I wouldn't do. And it worked. And it worked, yeah, so, so fuck me. Fuck, yeah, you're wrong as hell. <laughs> oh, you see his eyes change? Mm -hmm. Super push! I'm sorry, if everyone could give Miss Lane and I a moment, I promise this won't take long. I know this sounds they insane because it is, but he wants to erase everything you are and replace it with something else. That guy's getting it, definitely. That big ball guy with a beard? That's a stunning. You know, that's a yeah. stunning guy. Well, I was desperate. Uh, see you. Uh-oh. Hey, um, I, I was just wondering if, like, maybe uh, you wanted to uh, like, hang out after school sometime? Right. Um, look, I wasn't trying to hurt your feelings or anything. Uh, no, 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 no. It's, it's, uh, it's all good. It's my bad. Ooh. Looks like you need a new playbook, QV number two. You gotta work on closing that deal like you closed your locker. Damn it, coach. <laughs> what are you doing? Come on, coach. <laughs> Man, he needed to shoot a shot, and when she said, ah, uh, uh, never mind. And just fucking leave, you know? You Don't talk to her again. Morgan is what? ramping up. <laughs> talk to her again. Oh my god. It's like a bruised man. Uh huh. Look at that. Holy shit. Over. I got hit. <laughs> frost breath! God, he just got frost Listen. breath. That's hilarious. Why did you get frost breath? Why is that hilarious? <laughs> it's so funny that you sneeze and you're full of ice. Oh. You're infected too. Come on. You're infected too. What? By the gas? I don't know. <laughs> I think you should rest. I like how this... This wasn't supposed to happen. Really? Because it sure seems like a weapon designed to hurt Superman would hurt Superman. <laughs> it was only meant as a last resort, just to weaken him. Are there going to be, like, refreshments of this thing, or what? <laughs> uh, have you seen Jordan? No, he's probably just, like, putting on his best black tee for the show. You know how it goes. No, oh, I no. Because, uh, the dad. The dad. He left about an hour. Guitar. Come back. Get out the guitar. Where he was going? What is she talking about? An offer I made her. The same one I'm about to make right now. Say no. To you. Say no. The answer you give will impact the rest of your life. Oh, she said no. Your grandfather's working with the doctors to figure out a way to help him. Jonathan, he's gonna be fine. Jeez! <laughs> yeah, you stay here. Dad, that does not seem fine. We can't wait for your dad. To the fortress? Right? To fortress. the fortress! <laughs> Let me call you back. And willingly endangering the lives of the people I love? I can't forgive that. So when this is over, I want you to leave and never come back. What? How's that gonna work when Clark works with the army all the time? I mean, he cannot come back here, I guess. But... Can you get the kryptonite out of them? Likely. But only the same way we have with you in the past. How's that? Painfully? We're gonna have to burn the kryptonite out of your system. Painfully. Burn it out. With the sun? Dad, I'm scared. 
I'm gonna be right here. You're gonna take my hand, okay? You're gonna squeeze as hard as you need to, okay? You can do this. Damn, man. Wow. And for our first performance, we have the very talented Sarah Cushing singing oh. Little Light by Amy But with no pianist. 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 I'm sorry, I, I can't do this. I mean, she has stage fright. She needs someone there to help with that, right? Yeah, that's just that's like it. Yes, Kyle. Yes! That's it. It was edited for time. It was longer, we just didn't see it all. Okay. <laughs> He's still there. <laughs> Are you fucking leaving? You said not to come not back. Come back, not I can if stay. If I ever leave, I'm leaving. I, I can never be scared of my family. No matter what powers they might have. Jonathan, you haven't seen the things I have. I don't think that would matter. Because I'd still trust them. And you'd still be a coward. Well, I know I have... Uh oh. They're being called. That's weird. Yeah. <clears throat> you want me to go see this one? Wait, Kyle. Shoot, what if she kills him? We just had a nice moment with Kyle. Have you seen this? To take down Superman? Not him. The one he protects. Huh? Lois. No. Emily's gonna go kill Lois? Dude, Sam's gonna save him, right? Because he prepared. With the weapons he and stuff, he's prepared for, for the worst kind of thing. I would love if they did that because it's so complicated. Lois, I'm well, hi, Emily. Is it the big Is dude? Is it the big bearded guy? It's the big dude! Oh, shit! Jonathan, push her out of the way. Not this time. Sam Lane, come on, man! Like, Sam definitely heard that. I think he saw some of the lasers. Yeah! Here tonight. Prepare for the worst! I'll keep him busy. Hope everything's I'll okay. I'll keep them busy. Oh! Uh, he took his weapons. Oh, he oh. took some. Kyle? I thought he took some weapons. <laughs> when did he do that? Oh, General Lane, come oh, on. Sam. They were weakened, right? For how long? He's a big son of a bitch possessed by an alien. Damn. No! It's okay. That's just a hit, but he's out. Come on, where's the sound? They both heard it. Oh. <laughs> I think they both turned at the same time. Oh. Oh. Nice gun. Damn, I thought it was a machine gun. Pretty good with that thing. Son of a bitch. I fucking knew it. I wrote it down. Damn. I wrote it down. I wrote it down. He's changing his life now. I was worried about that. I didn't think he'd done it yet. I yeah, thought it was gonna be a thing in the future. No. He heard the sound too, that's why he left with her. <sighs> Damn, man. And I wasn't there to protect you the way a parent should. You were tonight? Couldn't let him hurt my grandson. Something happened to me tonight. I was, I was at the performance. And, and, and we were talking to Sarah, and, and then I blacked out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's a blackout thing. Next thing you know, I'm out in the middle of a field. Chrissy, what are you talking about? Irma Sayers and David Fugelstad. Who? Leslie Lar and Motel Attacker Guy. Motel, okay. Leslie Lar's real name is Irma Sayers. I found out they're both originally from Smallville. And his powers were fritzing. Yeah, just like Rossetti's. That didn't happen when I fought David. And it didn't happen with Leslie. Mm -hmm. Something about being from Smallville. It's this area, living here, or the comets. When I landed here, it's not Smallville that just needs to build his army. It's the people. Mm. That's why he's staying here longer. Shoot, what's that? I'm glad you came. I don't know. It looks like Everything you're doing is going <gasps> to stop. 
Why is he worried? That's exactly what your friend Lois Lane keeps saying to me. Someone's gonna interrupt him. He's powered. What? What is he wearing? I don't know. It's not a black suit, is it? He has a Kryptonian. Dude, I Look got at mine that. the same time you did, Kal-El. What? When I arrived on this planet. What? You arrived, brother. Gorgeous. Oh. That was gorgeous at the end there, but like brother, brother, or like. Like, it could like be a company. Hey, what's up, brother? You know, like me doing we that. We have never said that. I said it all the time. You just don't hear me. Uh, the, the brother thing could be just Kryptonian, you know? It doesn't have to be brother, brother. Because even the symbol's not the same symbol, right? No, it's not the symbol of the House of El. So, I mean, I don't think he's brother, brother. I don't but think But I think he's... he could be a Kryptonian. He's not brother. Zod, right? No. Like, he's not Zod. Is he any. Kryptonians that we know about. I can't believe it, man. Fucking Morgan Edge. I can definitely see that Kyle went through the thing. That's yeah. not as big of a shock. But I wasn't expecting Edge to be a Kryptonian. Yeah, like, Edge isn't, like, an alien possessing a body, right? He is actually a Kryptonian, is what he's saying. He said when I landed here. So the same he time you did. Was launched. Man, who else was launched, though? I mean, Kara? Kal El? That one chick in Supergirl, like the, the cult-like center, what was her name? Rampage or something? Rain? Yeah, not Rampage. It was Rain. She was sent too. Right? Same day. Krypton's exploding there, shooting babies out in the space. Yeah, there was some weird thing with that, yeah, where they were doing like a spell thing. Hmm. Um... Yeah, I don't know. So the Morgan Edge never close. really been Morgan Edge. Is that like did he take his? I don't know. I mean, he does look different than the other Morgan Edge in Supergirl. True, but we have Crisis kind of meddling things up too. I don't know. Interesting though. I mean, I like his outfit. <laughs> when he first showed up, I'm like, what the fuck is he wearing? What's happening? Yeah. Well, and the one shot after he hit him, I'm like, does it? Is it a black suit? Look kind of like a black Superman yeah. suit. But he has much more of a like a trench coaty thing than just a cape. He does. And yeah, the uh, like a duster. I figure if he was his actual brother, that means that he would be of the House of L, thus he would have the same crest. Yeah, I don't think he's from the House right? of L. I don't think he's an actual brother. I mean his crest looks more like Zod's in Man of Steel, but I can't remember what exactly it looked like. I mean I can't even tell if it's like you know the the one that's Clark is it an E? No. I mean, it kind of reminds me of like a. I mean, Clark's isn't an S. It just looks it, like. It, one. But it is. It, it's an S. It's it not. is an S. No. It is. In his world, it means hope. But it is an S. It's not an S. But it is. No. Nope. I mean, if you want to say that, then that's an S. That's not an S. I see an S literally can, right there. Okay, I can see an S, but I can also see. <laughs> I can also see an E. Like a lowercase E. Yeah. Like. It's a like e. you know what I mean? Like this is where you start. Yeah, I get you, goes, but an actual E. Next, doesn't well, sure, but he ha he ran out of room. Well, the 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 because it's inside of a diamond, you know. Like the S doesn't it doesn't have the full, but it's still an S in there, you know. Like yeah. So I was just like that's what I saw it was an E when I looked at it right now. I like the outfit though. It's interesting. I'm just fuck. I'm shocked. The sideways E. For I didn't edge. see that coming at all. Like whenever, like you know, uh. <clears throat> Whenever the sound happened and the, uh, Emily, I think is her name, right, stood up and then Kyle left, I was like, did Kyle, like, I wonder if he heard the same sound. And then I was thinking, like, well, I mean, she's been talking about how all year you're having this whole, like, change in my whole life attitude. And I'm like, well, I mean, we kind of saw that, though, but no, it makes sense. Like, he's going through the same process. Sure. So I wrote it down around then. Uh, what if he had it to Kyle, but... Fucking motherfucker! That his eyes blew See, up. The thing that was weird though is like he doesn't seem no too different. He doesn't. Like he's still there. He's not walking away yet. And then he says like, you know, I'm gonna go see what's wrong. And, and then he just leaves. yeah, but then he just shows up at a bar. You know? <laughs> sure. It's usually like, hey Emily, are you okay? Huh? She, she fucking didn't stop. I don't know what's going on, Emily. You know. Instead, he followed her to a bar, but really he blacked out there. I mean. Hey, she acted weird. If she just got in her car and left, you're like, man, that's weird. Where's she going? And you follow. That's, that's what I would do for you. No, you wouldn't. Yeah, if you're acting weird, I'd follow people. I'll act there. weird all the time. You never follow me. I have followed people when they're acting weird. 
Or I send Calvin to follow them when they're acting weird. Now, I have caught Calvin following me, yeah. so you're right. Sometimes it's me sending him to follow you. <laughs> <sighs> oh, man. I love the General Lane stuff so much this episode because it's so complicated. No one's right or wrong, you know? I love the parenting stuff in this. Like, I love... It's a good fucking like, show. The stuff with General Lane is really good, and I love the idea of, like, hey, don't come back here, but because he has the weapons, he's there to help protect. But then that also leads into, like, you know, I wasn't there to help you from getting bumps and bruises. Yeah. But he's there protecting them now, you know? And I like that. But I also really loved Clark with Jordan in the moment of being like, you know, we got to do this. And, like, whenever Jordan's like, mm-hmm. I'm scared, I was like, oh, man. And like, it was getting me. Was like, th- that moment made me emotional just thinking about, like, him with his son trying to, like, protect him. But he's got to save him. But it's going to feel hurt. pain and you can do it. Yeah. But it's going to hurt him to save him. And he knows out. exactly what that's going to feel like. And I also like that Lois and Jonathan can connect, mm-hmm. you know, not having powers and, yeah. you know, and Jonathan had fucking a giant sun gun. or I did not expect that to happen. I, I thought, like, he's like, we gotta get to the bar. And I'm like, all right, I guess it's safer than in the house right now. And I thought it was like a submachine gun. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I didn't think it was whatever the, whatever the hell it is. I love that, like, he was in there, he grabbed some guns. He did get the weapons. Look at that. To me, like that just looks like a kind of like a submachine gun with like a yeah, silencer sure. on it. But when he shoots his damn thing, <laughs> whatever the hell happens. The visual effects team made a different choice. They did. There's not bullets. Oh damn! I just missed it. I also really like whenever they hear the sound and Clark and Jordan both like both turn. They both do that little head thing at this yep. like. Ch- ch- that was cool. And they take off. It's just a subtle way of showing that he's learning to find these sounds and yeah, yeah, whatever the hell that is. Shot at the same time, it like you... split. Like, how is he? Did he know that? That he practiced this? Like, because if, if I get that, I'm like, okay, this thing is probably shooting completely straight, one bolt. That's what I'm gonna guess if I pull the trigger once. Yeah, you aim at one of them. I'm gonna right? squeeze this trigger. Is it automatic? Is it semi-automatic? Does it have a kickback? I got you know. But instead, he's like, I'm assuming this is gonna. Be 15 feet in front of me with a spread of three feet. <laughs> it's like a weird shotgun. Yeah. So, but you maybe know what? Like, maybe that assistance in there, like, hello, Jonathan Kent, who would you like me to kill today? <laughs> <laughs> it does seem like it might be like a red sun energy kind of beam. They call it a solar weapon, yeah. So, like, shooting red sun would work because mm-hmm. that was dam- the red light was damaging yeah. Clark before. So, I imagine that's kind of what yeah. a lot of this technology is based on, you know? It was really funny. As soon as you see that big guy, you're like, oh, that guy is definitely getting it and he's definitely going to be doing stunts later. He just, just looks like that, a guy yeah. that's like, do some shit. He's like, fine, pay me. Talking about doing stunts, not quite, but uh, Sarah singing her song. Mm-hmm. I really wonder if that's the actress singing. Seems like it was. Yeah. Because it, it does. It does seem like it's her singing it. Um, but when they cut to Avery Fan, the daughter, whenever she's singing, so they, they filmed uh, Sarah from like here, and she's just like singing like this. But when they filmed her, it's like this. Covering the mouth. And the whole mouth is covered. Sure. And you can't see anything at all. And I'm like, I bet that one's not really singing. So I think Sarah's singing because they covered up her mouth like that. So you could, like, take that scene and just add music in if you wanted to. Like, yeah. My po 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 face, my my po face. You could. You really could. It's like the whole, that whole element there. I'm like, gotcha. When I was watching it, I'm like, and yeah. they're just fucking covering it up. See, no, the whole you. shot is just that giant ball of sure. a microphone, and every time they cut to her, that's all you see. Yeah, I really hope that what we were joking about is what Sam Lane was thinking about. It's like you leave here, you never come back. Fine, I'll never leave. Okay, that bar. <laughs> he just because he just like stayed there the whole time. Yeah, like, right. I mean, I imagine I, that is a leave now situation. You know, sure. But he's just like, no, no, no. I heard what she said. I'm just not gonna leave. I also understand him being like, my grandson is could be dying, mm-hmm. and I don't want to leave until I know that he's either yeah, that he's course. good, you know, like. So I'm just glad that like he could be there and like yeah, those weapons, he, you know, th- it's a complicated situation, but he was able to stare down two motherfucking Kryptonians. Sure, you know, I love him being there. Like I'll keep him busy, you know, yeah. and he tries to keep him busy as long as he can until he gets knocked out. It's also funny that they're like, you know, we're nothing alike. But Sam keeps his weapons in case. Jonathan had his weapons in case. You know? They're actually pretty alike in that respect. Sure. 
They both had weapons. They did. For worst case scenarios, they didn't, didn't tell anyone about. Didn't tell anyone about. Like, what's the reason he needed those for? I know. You know, it wasn't for to protect Clark. himself. If he didn't think he needed them from Clark, he just needed them for something. It's protects himself from something that you don't know is going to happen. I, I like that. That's like a subtle thing that's showing. Like, actually, they are kind of alike. And actually, I mean, you know, Sam's, you know, he can be a dick, but he's not wrong necessarily either. As we talk about, Superman himself has given kryptonite rings to people in case this were to happen. Yeah. It's just that he did it without telling them. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Dude, I'm glad. I, I thought that the reason Smallville was important, I was like, think about Smallville, the show. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, man, all those freaks of the week came because the meteors came down, they irradiated some shit or they find it every once in a while and stuff happens. I'm like, maybe it's kind of related to that, right? Like yeah. Clark landed here, yeah. thus meteorites and whatever landed here. And what was that do? Season but, like six or seven, it happened again. Another man. <laughs> more? Yeah. More meteor freaks. Yeah. But no, just like having that same idea, like they've been like irradiated or around this stuff under the ground, this ex kryptonite stuff. And that's why they can be more susceptible to taking it. Like yeah. the other guys were, but they weren't from Smallville, so they didn't take to it mm -hmm. right away. So it's interesting having that, and that's why Smallville is important. Yeah. So, I wonder, so Edge lands here. He's a Kryptonian. Like, did he have a, like, who found, was he a baby? If he's a, I don't know. Twins? Or was he older? He's not a twin, right? He looks older he than He does Clark, seem older, right? but, I, you know, I don't know. So he could have been, like, Clark's age. When, it, how big was his pot? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like... Like, Kara was in hers. Gotcha. I'm just saying, like, he seemed to, like, we don't know his backstory, I suppose. I'm just saying, like, how does he know about, you know, does he have his own pod with his own crystal, and he learns about Kryptonite X and the resurrection, you know? Like, how do you arrive here? It's just so, Dude, there's a lot of mystery there. I don't know what's going to happen. What if? Twins run the family, though. What if he's Clark's twin? No, 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 no. <laughs> what if he came here on a ship, uh -huh. and what he's doing, he found, like, like his his dead Kryptonian people he came with, he's resurrecting them. Yeah. Talking about the resurrection, maybe he's. I mean, I don't know where you're getting these Kryptonians from, and they're talking about you know you'll have control in a few days, full host acceptance, like all that kind of stuff. So if these people are becoming like other people yeah. slash other Kryptonians. Where is that Kryptonian persona coming from? Maybe he didn't land here in a pod. Maybe he crash landed with a ship, and some of his Kryptonian crew died. You know, Zod came with a ship, right? Like in Man of Steel, like what if you had something like that? Yeah. What if Edge is Clark's brother, but he's from the other universe with John Henry, and convinced that Clark maybe, maybe that maybe that's the thing that because Clark was like I would never this guy's like me in every way, but he made a different choice. And here they're like I would always trust family. Clark, this is this is actually Clark's brother, brother, not just like hey, what's up. But like brother, brother, maybe that's why that Superman hmm. went with him. Just got to him earlier than when he met Lewis Lane or something. I don't know. And why that Clark, the whole time, yeah. From the way they told the story, from the whole time he wore the black suit. Yes. So like, let's say in that world, because there's other Kryptonians there too. Edge did the same thing, or I should say, whatever the fuck that guy's name is. But we'll just call him Edge for now. But Edge did the same thing. I'm not saying that he like necessarily crossed over to this universe to do it again. Sure. But what if one thing happened there and it's happening again here the same way, just like John Henry said? Same idea, just yeah. It's it's different, but the same. And now suddenly, like, wait, I didn't think about this. He has a brother. What if he would? He's more likely to turn now, though. Obviously, he won't. Sure. I don't know. Maybe I don't want to have too much multiversal stuff, but I get what you mean. I was wondering if there was like more on the Kryptonian symbol stuff because I'm trying to remember what ones we've seen in Supergirl before, and if this one could be something because like if it is the S kind of symbol, if that's turned to the side, I wonder if it could be something else that it stands for, like if this way is hope, does this way mean something else? It's like when you take the American flag, right, and you have it this way, but when you turn it this way, it means you're in distress. Mm -hmm. You know, like yeah. I wonder if there's something along those lines, and like it could be like. It's an S. It is really the Kal El family, but it's turned this way, so it's like a like branch of the you know, Kal El like family. A, like you know? a demonic symbol, is just the cross upside down. Yeah, stuff like that, you know. Maybe. I don't know. I feel like if they really wanted to stick to the brother thing, they would just have it be a Superman symbol. Just a Superman symbol. Yeah. What the hell is this? The Kryptonian alphabet. There is one. I know there's a Kryptonian alphabet. 
One of the weird E-shaped things on here. I mean, there's a crest. I don't know if it's necessarily an alphabet. Yeah, because... It only it looks like an S on our world, not on Krypton. Well, yeah. Sure. But, I mean, this correlates to an S. <laughs> <laughs> so they have an S. Yeah. Their S is this. Whatever the hell that is. Sure. So, I don't know. There's a lot of kryptonite writing in Smallville back in the day that they had an alphabet you could, like, try to look it up. Really? Mm-hmm. But I can't remember, because I know, like, Rain and some of her other... Like, yeah. ones they had, they all had different shapes and stuff, too. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm glad they clarified, too, that it's actually a blackout that's happening. Because I was like, wait, is is the Kryptonian acting like the person? It's just that the blackouts will be more and more often until they're yeah. permanent. Until right? they take yeah. over fully, I think. Because, like, yeah. Emily comes out, she's speaking Kryptonian, and the next time you see her, she's in, the, what, the diner with Clark. And I was like... So is the Kryptonian like in there? Are they like both driving a little bit? It makes sense. No, just be- I think because she went through the process just then, yeah. it was more prominent. Mm-hmm. And he's like, you're not gonna have full control for a while, you know, but you have full host sure. acceptance and all that. Like I wonder when Kyle blacked out. It had to have been during the activation, right? Maybe. So that Kryptonian was able to stay in character too. Unless they all have well, the other one even kind of stayed in character a little bit, right? She's like, hey, bit. I'll be right back, yeah. you know, something like that. But Maybe it also, maybe, it must not have one sound mm-hmm. to rule them all, because they should have more of them. Yeah. He only sent three. So maybe each one has their own unique sound. Yeah. Like, Superman didn't seem to hear it, right? Like, maybe there's something along those lines. Yeah. I don't know. I'd also be kind of freaked out that, like, Leslie Lahr or whatever, who we know has super hearing, is always, like, like they can hear anything from anywhere. Right? Like, I just never want to talk about shit. Sure. <laughs> I mean, there's got to be a reason to pinpoint into what. Yeah. But she could just pinpoint to Lois whenever she wanted to. I imagine so. That's why I'm like, don't go to the Gazette. Line. Yeah, that's go a bad idea. Go to somewhere Dyer. else. Yeah. Go. Hell, it might be even better to go to Lois and Clark's home it than to go be. to the Gazette. It would be. Because you could just be going there with your daughter and they're hanging yeah. out. With, you know, there's more excuses than like, why are you at the Gazette? That seems weird. Mm-hmm. I also like the detail that... Uh, Jordan being sick made the entire room cold. I just it was funny. I never like seen that in a Superman thing before. Yeah. But just, I don't know why, it's just funny to me. Just like, <clears throat> and it's just, just holding ice and just the shock of that first time. Like, ah! you know? I like that, that it's like be. he was getting sick and it was like flu yeah. in his lungs, but because of his power manifesting, yeah. like it was doing that. Yeah. I was just like, I was thinking about him being with uh, Sarah and being like, damn, it's like the opposite of Smallville where like he was looking at like this good looking teacher and mm-hmm. eyes heated up this is like he's with a girl that he kind of likes and he just starts freezing up yeah. <laughs> like, I'm like what okay but hmm. I don't know if Tegan's gonna be something more I don't know what's going on with her they've yeah. brought her up a few times they have unless it's just supposed to be kind of like something for Jonathan, Jonathan. still has no, like no one around him that's yeah. really on his side like I don't know if it's really like that or know. what but yeah I don't know I don't know. Well, let's check out some Q&As. All right, we'll start with Julian Garcia, who says, Will there be a way to reverse the process of making Krypton, Krypton people? Or will people like Kyle be stuck with this power forever? Uh, I think with the blackout thing, it definitely means that there's a way of stopping it, as opposed to them just, like, there's, like parasiting taking over. You know? I think there's three routes they go with it, mm-hmm. right? Either one is that there's no way to stop it. Yeah. In which case, that sucks. The other one is that there is a way to revert them back to where they don't have this kind of stuff. Or it's the time frame of like, well, if we know before it fully takes control, we yeah. can stop and revert it back. But once it gets to this point, it's too far. So like That's maybe true. someone like Leslie Lahr, who's been with him for a long time, there's no reverting her back to whoever mm-hmm. she used to be. Yeah. But maybe like Emily and Kyle, we could still save because they haven't fully taken hold True. Yet. It takes a f- few days to get fully Yeah, so maybe there's something along those lines. Gotcha. Or it's just... I don't imagine Kyle's gonna. I can't, maybe, I but I don't think he's I gonna can't just predict die, the show. You know? Honestly, yeah. So maybe they do, maybe they don't. But yeah. I imagine they can get him back to normal at least. Yeah. And I thought the whole Emily thing, ever since we saw her as like, because I don't even know what the other four people look like, but they really focused on her. Mm-hmm. And this, I figured, it's why is because we had the Avery and all this stuff yeah. here. But I don't want her family with like her and her dad, or her and her husband who have been struggling trying to make her make her daughter happy, and mm-hmm. you know and all that like I feel like I gotta save her too yeah so there might be a way of saving them somehow I just don't know what the rules mm-hmm. of it's gonna be 
I'm curious too, like, you know, these people, they're feel they're they are like when they're not blacked out, they're feeling better, more confident. Obviously, these powers or the Kryptonian presence is like strengthening them. They're not feeling sick, they're feeling just like yeah. more positive. Like, do you think they could access the powers that are inside their bodies, or is it only during the blackout? So like in Kyle without being Kryptonian blacked out. Let's say he... you remo- let's say you remove the Kryptonian ability, would Kyle still have his power too? You mean the Kryptonian like persona? Uh, persona, I mean, not ability. Yeah, I don't know. Like, like if uh, Sarah was in trouble, would he jump in front of a car mm-hmm. with or without the persona? Like, what would happen with it? Exactly. Right? Like, say he doesn't change, does he get ran over? Does he yeah. have the power? Like, is the power always there? Yeah. He doesn't know he has it. I don't know. Like, if you shoot him in his sleep. Will he die or bruise or anything? Yeah, exactly. I I wonder. Hmm. I imagine we'll get into something like that. Uh, Ashwell Ashwell? Ashwell says, Do you guys think that Mr. Cushing, uh, Sarah's dad Kyle, will team up with Superman to help end the war? I feel like he is the best chance at getting uh, getting one of them on their side, as he still seems good even though they are all brainwashed. Hmm. I mean, as long as it happens in the next few days... I would say, yeah, that's a pretty good chance. I mean, I don't think things are going to slow down. It's like, all right, well, two weeks later, you know. Sure. They're, they, they're going to be here until this is done is what Lane says. Yeah, the thing is, like, how much, like, can, the question is, can Kyle, right? Mm-hmm. Can Kyle be a good, like, Lana tells him what's going on or whatever, and he understands because he's blacking out, so he's not going to know, but would he believe it? Mm-hmm. Um, I do think he would be a good person that, could he turn on edge? Him and Clark talking together against Edge would probably help turn the community. Because I yeah. feel like he's a, been a big proponent of like pushing Edge and how much help he's going to be and all this stuff, you know? Uh, Blind Wave Fan 90, uh, what do you guys think will be the fallout of Edge revealing himself as Clark's brother? It really depends on what the context of brother means. I mean, I honestly, in the way he said it, brother, you know, sounded like a reveal as opposed to just a term of endearment i don't know i if they come out and say no this is literally his brother i'll be like all right yeah that made sense but mm. i gotta figure what that out what that is gonna be before it'll be weird it'll be weird i mean jor and lana i suppose that he couldn't he doesn't have to be like his biological brother he could be like they adopted ward. yeah like yeah like a ward so it's more of just because we're both Kryptonians. Well, what if he was, like, raised in their household? So? I mean, that's like a stepbrother. Is it? Isn't it? Is that what a stepbrother is? Just some other like guy? Like a foster who's, brother? Just some other guy who's raised in your household? Like, there's, like, a, brother? Have you ever seen, like, a foster family that actually has a kid, and then they also have, like, three or four other kids in there, you know? Sure. It could be like that, and you could call them brother. You could. It could be something like that. You could. I think it would make sense. You could also just Don't worry doubting me. say brother. That's definitely what it is. No, I don't know. Some people just say brother. You don't say brother. I, I do not say, say brother. Uh, her, only time I've ever heard you say brother is when you're talking about your brother. I never, <laughs> ever, my whole life, have been like, brother, come here. Sister, <laughs> you know. Like, I go, mom, dad. I don't say mother, I don't say father. I've heard you, say, like, asking at points, like, is that you, brother? I've heard you say Is that, that you, brother? You, brother? You, brother? Only in quotes. <laughs> now I'm like, yes. <laughs> A lot of people have, like, like uh, Shelton saying, like, do you think that edge, this edge could be from John Henry's world? I mean, you could have it where, like, it, it would be, it, I don't know. It'd be interesting, except we don't know how John Henry got here. We never saw that. Red glowy. Like, could it be a possibility? I don't know. It's just the wording of, like, when I landed here the same time as you. It's like, well, he wouldn't have landed here the same time as him if he came here when John Henry came here, you know? So like there's a little bit of like unless he's talking about like you, the other one. I don't know. Sure. There's also the idea of like if Edge in that world is really a Kryptonian brother of Kal El. Yeah. And then here he's not really the brother of Kal El. Yeah. But he also didn't land on this world at the same time as this Kal El. So. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know either. Did he see how it landed here the same time as you, or the same as you? I thought he said same time. I thought he did too. You see, I got mine the same time you did. Kyle. I got mine. When I arrived on this planet. 
Are you alright? Okay. So I got my point, my powers the same time. See, you did. I could take that two ways though. No. You so know? When Clark gets his powers from the yellow sun when he arrived on the planet. He could have arrived at any time yeah. and gotten his powers no. when he arrived on the planet at any time. Not the exact same Clark did. Yeah. It's like it's like a. a when you when you have your reverse boner, the same time you did when I hit puberty. You know, yeah. it's like well we didn't hit puberty at the same time, sure. but in the same time you yeah. could relate it. I don't know why I went there, but that's that's, what a, I that's a weird one. That's what I thought. Yeah. Of. But like, so the same time doesn't have to be that they land at the same time, but when yeah. I, the time of landing on the planet, I got powers. It's like, when did you get your first cavity fix? Oh, the same time you did, when I went to the dentist. <laughs> you know? Of, yeah. It doesn't matter what age or anything, it's just at the dentist. That's where I went. You went to boners. I think mine works better, I honestly. Like okay. Dentist. Puberty is more abstract than <laughs> the dentist. <laughs> You don't get cavities at the dentist. <laughs> That's not how it works. Got it fixed, though. Where'd you get it fixed? Oh. At the dentist. He's like, when'd you get your first cavity? Same time as you, at the dentist. Like, what? <laughs> well, you don't know you have it until. Same time as you, at the buffet. You know, I don't know. The Real UC says, this is the most consistent superhero show I have seen in recent times. Don't get me wrong. I love Legends, too. But Superman and Lois hits it out of the park every week. This episode was great. Quick question. Do you think General Zod... Had a son, and that is Morgan Edge. No. No. I don't think so. I I mean, don't get me wrong, I, I like Zod, but I do feel like he is a little overplayed, oversaturated. There are more villains, you know. Like Edge. It's I mean, Morgan Edge is just a straight up vil, you know, villain character, but now he's Kryptonian. I have I have questions. Questions. Why is he not Talbot? <laughs> right? Raj C says, my theory, Edge could be a character from the comics that is named Hell, H L, Hell, Hell. He was a Kryptonian who worked for Jarrell and saw him as a father figure. That could be loosely. I wouldn't call him. Is this your ward thing? What he lived in the house, looking at a father figure. Well, father, he, father, brother. He, he works for what you said. Not earlier. ward. He works for him. It's like I, you know, I, I worked for a, pe- a person like a boss. I don't want to like, call him like my dad. Yeah, like Sam's not your dad. He was your uncle. <laughs> like that guy. It says right? he he worked for Jarrell and saw him as a father figure. Yeah, yeah I feel like it fits more with what you were yeah. saying before about like yeah, it's close. A father figure. And father if his name is H L, it's just H apostrophe E L. Is that close to hell? Yes. Right. Yes. Which is the one thing that the what the the what the hell dog tag. From the other universe. Oh, the 743 yeah. things. Mm-hmm. 7743? That's close. 7734? Chris Smith says, I doubt Edge is his brother because why was his house symbol be, why would it be wildly different from Clark's? Right! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because that brother announced the case and he was hell or whatever, wouldn't he have the same one? Yeah. Unless that's his original family's one, maybe there's some kind of like no. social. Well, he he changed he changed it because that one's yes sideways, right? So he's like, you know what? I'm gonna turn this this way. I don't like that. <laughs> you keep bringing up. <laughs> and now it's like Superman. And it's different. That reminds me of fucking Spider Man. Peter Parker's like, I'm bad now. <laughs> what do you mean? He's like, I'm gonna fucking turn it this way. And it's fucking S this way. Uh, M. Tariq Ziad says, which one do you think will happen first? Sarah finding out that Jordan has powers or that her father has powers? The father one, I think, is more Father first? Yeah, yeah, I think that one. Probably. All right, well, those are the Q&As. We need to pull for this episode. I think it can only be one thing. Yes. Is he his brother? We will find out next week when we look at the DNA. Right, is that what Jerry does? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of Superman and Lois with us. What was your favorite moment? Down in the comments, let us know. Make sure you like this video, too. Or if you disliked it, you can dislike it. You're allowed. I mean, we would rather if you liked it, but, you know, disliking is also good engagement, so please do that. 